Hello and welcome back to a Methods of the Madness Breaking Bad edition. I'm your host Patrick and joining me is Mitchy. Hello. And we today we're discussing Breaking Bad Season 4 Episode 12, End Times. <laughs> As the title suggests, this is End Times, but mm. not really. Not yet. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it. If, I imagine if you were watching this back when it was releasing, especially because I don't think people knew that there was going to be another season after this. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. It yeah, definitely feels... could have seemed like it was. Yeah, and it would have worked well as an ending too. Yeah, man. Dude, I would have, this would have been so hype if you were watching this live. Yeah. When it was coming out. Oh, All right, yeah. Let's, yeah. All right, let's get into it. Can you read out the plot summary? Yep. The White family is brought to the Schrader household for protection after the threat against Hank. The White family is brought to the Schrader household for protection after the threat against Hank, but Walt stays behind to face the consequences of his actions. After Hank's insistence, Gomez unofficially investigates the laundromat, finding nothing. Jesse receives a call from Andrea that her son, Brock, has become seriously ill and is in the hospital. Jesse discovers a ricin cigarette, which he kept handy to poison Gus, is missing and concludes that Brock somehow ingested the ricin. Jesse yeah. confronts a paranoid Walter, accusing him at gunpoint of poisoning Brock with the ricin. Walter claims that Gus must have planned Brock's poisoning and framed Walter for it in order to manipulate Jesse into killing him. Jesse is convinced and begins a plan to kill Gus. Jesse visits the hospital daily, refusing to leave despite Tyrus's demands to go and finish the meth batch. When Gus arrives at the hospital to talk to Jesse, Walt plants a homemade car bomb under Gus's car and watches from a nearby rooftop for the right moment to detonate it. As Gus and his bodyguards return to the car, Gus senses something is amiss and leaves the area, leaving Walter distraught about missing his chance. End of episode. We're going to smash it all out at once and then talk about it. Yeah. Well, there's something about this episode that seems like not there's not many scenes not no. many sequences like yeah yeah, yeah i agree um because like you know we spend like a good couple minutes just watching Walt watch gus walk to his car and stuff like that it's just all about like tension yeah in this episode yeah um yeah okay so yeah the episode starts with uh them panicking and packing this shit all right i'm reminded of um the joker going you know it's in their last moments that people show you who they truly are <laughs> because walt thinks he's gonna die but his priority is his family still you know he uh puts their safety above his own and, yeah you know he says uh yeah it's you know there's no what does he say like there's no point in risking you know it's me they're after that i don't want to risk your life so you know he still has a shred of humanity left in him he's still his priority it seems is still his family man you're, you're really like critical of pessimistic about what aren't you <laughs> well, shred of humanity like <laughs> like it's he, he's not that bad i didn't want to mention it because it's next episode but you know the the final shot right, of the right, next right. episode is, yeah spoilers yeah, spoilers yeah. but yeah yeah <laughs> we should talk about it because we do yeah well and okay because it's relevant in this episode where uh jesse's confronting him and you know walt says do you honestly think i would ever poison a kid and then us watching are like yes you would because you did <laughs> you know like but he um, he poisoned the kid knowing that the kid wouldn't die yeah but no, it's I mean, different yeah <laughs> like it is it is i i agree that is an important detail but, yeah um, and and yeah. when it, when you consider the fact that it's it's for the safety of his family and the kid doesn't die and he knows that it's then like sh a little bit more forgivable like yeah sure you should never poison children or involve children in anything but you know i can kind of understand why he does it yeah um i mean it, it does work out i will admit but yeah it's um i don't know you still poisons a kid <laughs> anyway I, I, the, speaking of that this shot where walt is spinning the pistol um <laughs> yeah i wonder how many know, times then, that took yeah well okay so <laughs> i'm gonna go down i was i was thinking that exact same thing i was like how many how many takes did that that take uh, i was looking it up and i got kind of got down this rabbit hole of people talking about this scene on like reddit and shit and i found this one post <laughs> and it goes remember the spinning gun on the table prepared to have your mind blown and then it has it's the shot of the gun pointing to the uh lily of the valley yeah and then the comments are like yeah that was pretty obvious <laughs> and there's another one's like seriously we remember our minds are not blown <laughs> <laughs> This poor dude just like <laughs> trying to share. He's like, oh, well, guys, it's pointing to the plan. And everyone's just like, yeah, I mean, that's obviously what happens. Yeah. I thought that was funny. Um, but yeah, I, I love, anyway, I love these silent symbolic moments. Mm. Like, because, you know, it points to him twice. Um, 
and then I don't know is there is there any other meaning to that than like as if it's like you know he's playing Russian roulette or something like that um, that he's like you know the, as if there's like a, a two out of three chance that he's going to die in this scenario or something like that yeah yeah it, it it's almost symbolic to the point of really it's for the audience not right for the purpose of the story but Walt does a lot of shit like this before like sorry he Walt has done a lot of shit like this before right like a lot of acts actions where he's sitting there brooding about something because his life's gone to shit and he does something that symbolically works for the purpose of conveying something to the audience so it's it's convincing because he would do that anyway that's the kind of character Walt is so he symbolically yeah. kind of does things to you know discuss things with himself yeah yeah no that's a good point yeah no i like it it's it is you're right it's symbolic i think it's symbolic to the audience and and sort to of what? progresses the story as well yeah uh sorry as well yeah because it, it you know helps him points him to the direction of poisoning children which he needs to do <laughs> <laughs> non-lethal um, poisoning children yeah yeah sorry important <laughs> detail and then and then uh, i like hank sort of negging steve into <laughs> searching the laundromat yeah He's saying like oh you you're never really good at those were you and then we and get then another jimmy cuts. hoffa reference <laughs> yeah that's right um yeah and then uh we also i think we also get introduced to that that manager what's his name yeah i, f- I the, feel like i've seen him in something yeah he gets shanked later on spoilers oh but, yes in the jail yeah. but i feel like yeah, i've seen yeah. him in like not breaking bad i don't know yeah i don't know maybe um okay and then and then we get sort of Saul panicking and packing his bags. I love how Jesse goes to him and he's like, well, why are you doing this? And Saul's like, oh, well, you know, Gus has threatened to kill Walt's whole family. And then he goes, and what am I if not family? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think maybe Saul is overreacting, but also Walt does, you know, as a lawyer, Walt tells Saul everything about Gus. Uh, Saul knows, you know, a lot of... Um, sensitive information about Gus, so maybe yeah. it would be pertinent to kill Saul as well from Gus's standpoint. Yeah, whether yeah. Gus knows about that or not is another question. Yeah, um, it's it's um yeah, because I just remember from last episode when Walt storms in to his office and is like really you know paranoid and scared, and Gus goes to shake sorry not Gus um Saul goes to shake Walt's hand and then Walt just completely like like ignores him. Do you remember that? What, like, in this episode? No, 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 the last one, sorry. Like, at the end, we didn't really discuss it during when we recorded that, but um, he, he went to shake his hand, and Walt just, like, doesn't even shake his hand because he's in such a rush to get out, right? And, and Jess, uh, Saul wanted to say, like, thank you, you know, like, I guess right. we won't see each other again kind of thing. And, and that potentially could have been the last time they see, the, they see each other. And, yeah, he just totally, what do you call it? He ignored him, flipped him off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I also like how Saul kind of looks a little, like, n- not traumatized. I don't know, There's you hardly ever see, like, human moments with Saul. And I love that when Walt's last plea is like, please do this for me. And then he's like, fine, I'll fucking do it. Cause, yeah, you know, he I sees feel like how Saul much is talent. more of a human than Walt is. Like, much yeah. more. And, and, and shows it, too. Yeah, mate. That's why they made an entire fucking spin-off show about him. Yeah, so yeah. keen to watch that. <laughs> um... And then we get a shot of Walter making a bomb from those like ice fever pack things that you put mm. in the freezer. Mm. Um, this is some like real like season one and two shit. Like good old like MacGyver, like Walt using his smarts to craft shit out of, you know, like ha- household items kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, can you, do you know what is like actually going on here in terms of like the, like, you know, scientific side of it? Like what is the, what is in these packets that make such a good bomb? I have zero idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were those packets? They were like, like cooling things, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe silicon. Oh, okay. Is that, ex- is that explosive? Isn't that what C4 is made out of? I don't know. I have zero clue, but I'm sure. I'm sure it's accurate. Yeah, like like yeah. It's, it's, it's 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 like it's, he made plastic explosive explosive because he detonates it electronically, electrically, right? Um, yeah. Which is really clever. You know, that's like like 
like really cool explosive like that you got the difference between um i think it's called soft and hard explosives and hard ones you can't detonate with like fire you've got to detonate it with a specific like signal from you know wires right. and that's what c4 is and he just inv- made that himself and that's like clearly a lot more difficult than making like a soft explosive like a typical bomb where you just light a fuse and then the lighting of it blows it up yeah 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 so no, he, he he's a clever man. <laughs> I like the the scene with, wait, I think the next scene is Walt and Jesse, right, in the house. Well, yes, yeah, it is Walt and Jesse, yeah. Yeah, that that's a great scene when Walt and Jesse meet each other in the house. It's peak Walt manipulating Jesse. <sighs> yeah, because <laughs> we know, know to... what's going on. Yeah, yeah, but as an audience that has no idea that Walt poisoned the kid. Yeah, like, it's so convincing that it's also peak audience manipulation by Walt, too. Wait, it's peak what? Audience manipulation. Like, manipulation of the audience. because Because, like, I just love this, like, kind of calling this bluff irony in this episode. Like, because now that we know, you know, we obviously know, because we've seen it before, that Walt did poison Brock, but not with ricin. And you just have no idea what's going on right like the first time you're watching it but when you watch it with that knowledge it it's so clever you just realize exactly what's going on like yeah. it's crazy and it's probably one of the biggest gambles Walt makes as well because oh, yeah. you know like as you know if if Jesse did find out that Walt poisoned Brock Jesse would betray him in a heartbeat yeah so yeah i mean it's yeah it, it pays off but it's weird too, like, you know, you'd think going against Gus would be, you know, the like, the biggest gamble, but it's really this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's tense yeah. too, like when he pushes that gun against his head uh, and, yeah. and you see the indent of the revolver yeah, barrel on his... Yeah, yeah. And, and then, but then he convinces him and then he goes back to that old Jesse Pinkman and he calls him Mr. White before he, the end of the scene, you know, like just... Oh. He never says... He, he doesn't really call him anything, really. Except Mr. White, only when he's like, you know, friendly and happy and a trust Walt, he calls him Mr. Right. White. Like, you know, it's just so symbolic that they've gone back to the old ways. They've gone back to being the duo, you know, everything's been <laughs> Hell resolved. yeah. Yeah. And they work well together as a duo as well. For us. Um, yeah. And then, you know, and then, so they formulate a plan and then um, he, Tyrus, fails to get Jesse back to work. Mm. And so he brings Gus. And then I like how, you know, when Jesse says to Gus, oh, he was poisoned. And then it seems like Gus thinks that Jesse is accusing him. Um, yeah. And so, and then Gus kind of drops the point of Jesse having to go back to work. And he's like, you know, you can you can stay here, come back next week. As if like, I don't know, to me, it kind of seemed like to lower Jesse's suspicions because Gus needs Jesse. Yeah, he's the only cook for him now, and you know to sort of get him on his side again. He's like, "All right, fine, you can, you can, you know, take the week off. Like, come back next week." As if like a little like you know kind gesture. Right. Okay. That, that's yeah, how I read it. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering why he would do that because I never would take Gus to be a sympathetic man that legitimately is like, "Oh shit, you know, Brock's being poisoned. I, I you know, you take all the time you need, man. Like, like a." you know five star <laughs> employer or something um <laughs> yeah. from yeah but but i'm like no surely like he's doing this for a reason for himself and i just assumed it was just to yeah you're right i guess that would be it yeah you're 100 percent right like yeah. it's trying to get jesse off him but the thing is is that he knows he didn't poison brock because he didn't poison brock so that, that's kind of, so so and this is a really clever thing and this also explains the last scene is that Gus knows exactly what's going on, that Walt is manipulating Jesse, right? And they're both just manipulating the shit out of Jesse. And so Gus knows that, okay, what the fuck? This kid's being poisoned. It wasn't me. It must have been Walt. But because Jesse, I feel like Jesse is is accusing me of it, Walt's using um, what well, Walt did it to pr- manipulate Jesse into thinking that it was me that did it. So now he has to kind of get Jesse off his back and be sympathetic with him even though he doesn't really need to because he didn't actually poison him maybe that is exactly what he's thinking as he's walking to the car and he's putting these pieces together and he's like wait a minute so that, does yeah. that mean jesse and walt have teamed up on me and then 
and then yeah, dude, how awesome is that scene? It, it's how fucking, you... <laughs> it's so good. Like, like it's it's better the second time you watch it because I remember the first time I watched this scene and I was like, what the like I I, I the first time I watched Breaking Bad, I really wanted Gus Fring to die. Like, I thought he was like the epitome of like you know TV slash film villains, right? It's like fuck, man, this guy's like the devil and he just cannot die. And then when he just stops in front of the car and just walks off. You know, when you watch it the first time, you're just like, what? Like, does this dude have, like, sixth sense? Like, like, is he fucking, like, gifted with some clairvoyance or something? Like, you just, there's no logical explanation for it. But now that you know exactly that Walt poisoned the kid, not Gus, because you always assume that Gus poisoned the kid right in the first time, during the first time you watch mm. it. He has no reason to believe, like, that, like Walt, uh, Jesse's lying. Like, when Jesse is accusing him, you think that Walt... Uh, Gus poisoned the kid. So therefore you think, okay, Gus is trying to get Jesse off his back. But then you know that Gus doesn't know he poisoned, that Gus knows he po- didn't poison the kid. So he knows that Walt must have done it. And then he pieces it all together in his head, but he does it in a, it, it just is all done in a way where you don't know the first time you're watching it. And it's just fucking crazy. No, I, yeah, I agree. Like the first time I watched it, I, my mind went to like, is this some sort of supernatural shit? Like, is Gus like a super, you know, because is he like a super criminal where he just has this super criminal intuition? Yeah. And he sees his car alone in the parking lot and he just thinks like, nah, I'm not going to risk that. Something's <laughs> up. And then, yeah, yeah I'll, 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 similarly, yeah, the first time I was like, what the hell? Like, why? <laughs> you you don't feel good about it. it, it it's almost yeah. like, like the first time you watch it, you're like, no, this can't be happening. Like, Breaking Bad isn't like this. Mm. But, 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 but now that we know that Walt poison Brock and Gus knows that it just changes everything because then it makes logical sense for Gus to piece this together in such a tense moment that you know okay why am I coming out here you know and and he knows that what Jesse's not really in on this like he's being manipulated too and it's just this game of like bluffing between Walt and Gus and they're using kind of they're kind of using Jesse as this like tool to achieve their means and it's just crazy it's just awesome like yeah it's honestly the best shit i also like how you know gus the car gus drives is like not too flashy it's like just some looks like some regular car everything about him is just like it's this act of being humble yeah yeah but yeah that's about it yeah i just honestly i think like definitely one of my favorite episodes just how clever this manipulation thing is because it's not just the characters like Jesse be manipulated it's us too and you know the first time you're watching it and then you come to this realization that that Walt did it it just changes everything and it makes it so interesting yeah for sure it's fucking great all right well uh thanks for listening and join us next episode for the finale of season four yeah exciting so keen yeah all right see you later bye is there anything I can do I am on the board of this hospital I can recommend doctors. Make sure he gets whatever he needs. The best treatment. He's not sick. He was poisoned. How did that happen? The doctors, they don't know. If you like this series, Mitch is going to tell you where you can find more of these. Yep, so you can find us on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud or Stitcher. And we've also got a website, amttm.com, where you can find our fabulous episodes on Breaking Bad. If you have any questions, queries, insights or criticism, you can send them to mail at amttm.com. And as always, thank you for listening. 